Garrison Brown was a star on Sister Wives before his tragic death in March 2024. Hello guys, I am Sabrina. To you, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for latest news updates. Garrison Brown tragically passed, leaving behind a legacy as a nature-loving photographer and budding entrepreneur. Garrison was a member of the National Guard and opened his own Hawaiian clothing shop called Bob's Floral in 2019. Despite his untimely death, Garrison's travel photos on Instagram continue to inspire and reflect his passion for photography. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown recently passed away, but there are some facts about his life before the tragedy that are important to share. Garrison's mother was Janelle Brown, one of Cody Brown's former wives. His death came as a shock to the Brown family, and the stars of one of the best reality TV shows need time to grieve. It's unclear where Sister Wives season 19 stands after Garrison's tragic death. However, it's important to remember who Garrison was in life. Among Cody and Janelle, Mary Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown, there are 18 children. Garrison was Janelle's fourth child, making him the third boy and the seventh child overall. He was born on April 10, 1998, and was raised in Leahy, Utah, until the Browns relocated to Las Vegas, Nevada. However, Garrison relocated to Flagstaff, Arizona, alongside some of his siblings. Garrison Brown was in the National Guard. In November 2015, he enlisted in the Nevada Army National Guard. This was a compromise to please his father, as he originally wanted to join the Army. Janelle was also opposed as he was only 17, thinking he was invincible. While Cody wanted Garrison to focus on school, he went to the National Guard anyway. Cody desired for Garrison to get his degree before enlisting, but he went anyway. Garrison liked to share travel photos on Instagram. Garrison traveled to Europe and shared pictures of his getaway on his Instagram account, Robert the Brown. He took photos of Stonehenge in Wiltshire, England, and the beaches of Nordwick on Zee in South Holland, Netherlands. Another IG highlight is a picture of Garrison at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, with the cute caption, I love London. He took some time off from traveling during the pandemic, but was back in Spain by late 2023. His many outdoorsy pictures made it clear that Garrison was a nature lover. Photos of mountainous landscapes, bodies of water, and night skies are featured on his grid. He's a photographer who loves taking pictures of the stars and has many pictures of night skies on his page. His followers have responded positively, calling his star photos beautiful and breathtaking. Some fans say he should sell them. I absolutely love everyone's feedback on these photos, he said. I never really had a knack for photography until this year and I have become obsessed with star photos. His photography will live on past his death. Garrison opened a clothing shop. In 2019, Garrison opened his own shop called Bob's Floral. Garrison sold Hawaiian shirts, dresses, and swimwear. Button-up t-shirts from Bob's Floral had colorful and tropical designs, while the sundresses feature bright flowery patterns and pockets. While the shop went on pause in 2020, he had an Bob's Floral Instagram account and a Bob's Floral Facebook page. He used both social media accounts to promote his clothing line, which is marketed as being handcrafted by Tanzanian field mice in my basement. In a post, he once said, maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Bob's Floral. His prices ranged from $19 to $25. Garrison will forever be remembered as an integral member of the Brown family. While he's currently being defined by his death, it's important to remember who he was in life. Garrison was part of the National Guard, was a budding entrepreneur, and loved travel and photography. Hopefully, the Brown family can be given the space they need to grieve and step away from sister wives if necessary. However, in light of Garrison Brown's death, Sister Wives fans took to social media to openly debate Robin and Cody Brown's roles in their family's turmoil. The couple appears to have isolated themselves and their children from their extended family, leading to bitterness and hurt feelings. The Sister Wives cast is far from how they first depicted themselves. Are Cody and Robin at fault? The Brown family first entered public life in 2010. Sister Wives was their attempt at trying to show the functionality of a polygamist family. 18 seasons later, the series is now far removed from season one, when Cody Brown had three wives and shared 18 children. 
He proclaimed love for all his wives and acted as a devoted father to each of his offspring. Today, Cody is in a monogamous relationship with Robin Brown. They live in a home with their five children appear separated from the rest of the family. But whose fault is this? Fans lay the blame squarely on Cody and Robin's shoulders. Cody and many of his children became estranged for years due to Cody's preferential treatment of Robin over his children and other wives. On Reddit, fans believe Cody and Robin are at fault for how their behavior affected the family. Here's some of their commentary. I can't understand how one human being can be so wrong about his choices in parenting. He has failed as a polygamist, he has failed as a husband, three times, he has failed as a parent to most of his children and failed as a father to his adoptive kids," wrote one follower. Robin effectively kept Mary and the other wives from having the opportunity to connect with any of them. This is the lady who advocated keeping the family together, penned a second Reddit user. A third viewer concludes, Cody also says Robin supported and enhanced the family and holiday traditions, even though we've heard through multiple people from the OG13 that that is not true. Cody is the only one saying Robin made them better. She is all Cody has seen since the day he met her. Cody Brown turned away certain family members who didn't comply with his rules. Garrison Brown's death on March 4 turned the tide on how the Brown family has been perceived publicly. Frustration set in for viewers who took issue with how sister wives Cody and Robin Brown ostracized his son with Janelle Brown for three years prior to his passing. Problems between Cody and his sons Gabriel and Garrison were rooted in rules related to the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Cody asked for his sons to quarantine from work, school and friends so he would be able to visit them. However, Cody also said that if the boys weren't compliant with his rules, they needed to move out. That's why I don't understand because if one of my little children were to die because somebody had to get his pencil wet, that made me so mad. In an October 2023 Sister Wives episode, Janelle said she was worried about how her kids were coping. I have worried about my boys' mental health, she said. Gabriel feels everything very, very deeply and Garrison just seems angrier and sadder. He's not as happy-go-lucky as he used to be. We've reached out and tried to be open, but it's been neglected and overlooked for offenses that were believed to have happened, but they never did. Garrison told TLC's cameras in a confessional with his siblings, Savannah and Gabe. However, Cody refuted this statement in his interview. The idea that Robin and I are rejecting them is not true. I have reached out only to get a rejection. They're not being fair, he said. The Brown kids blamed gaslighting Robin and Cody for their estrangement. Season 18 was the first real insight Sister Wives viewers had into the private relationships between Cody Brown and some of his adult children. During a dinner at Garrison's home, he, Gwendolyn, Savannah, and Gabriel Brown exposed Cody and Robin's lousy behavior. Gwen revealed the Brown kids wanted to do a secret Santa, but Robin derailed their plans. Robin made it all about herself bringing up how there's all this past trauma, which, by the way, where's the trauma coming from? Because dad prefers them. Robin turned it into us trying to ostracize her and played the victim. We said, no, this is about us trying to figure out how to do this and adjust to your new Christmas rules, explained Garrison. She was gaslighting everyone into treating her with special treatment, he added. When agreed, for the past eight years, she's made herself the victim because she was the last wife. I don't care to talk to Robin anymore. I'm not going to do this. I'm doing my own thing. And Robin's mad that she can't have this effect on our lives anymore because we just don't care anymore. He continued. This is what I think all the siblings think. This is us going, Robin, to have him. We don't care anymore. We're all grown adults that don't need a father figure. However, reacting in his confessional, Cody exclaimed of his sons Gabriel and Garrison, all of you are just kind of jerks. I don't want to be around you and I am tired of it and I don't want to call them and I don't want to talk to them. However, sister wives Robin walks off, look back special, reveals why she would have probably backed away from Cody. Sunday's episode of Sister Wives also saw the Brown family heads addressing Cody's noticeable favoritism toward Robin. Robin Brown is still having a hard time letting go of her vision for her now broken family. Sunday's Sister Wives look back 
How It Started special featured all five Brown family heads reflecting on their most dramatic and gut-wrenching moments from over the years. But there was one moment in particular that sent Robin into a tailspin. At the episode's end, the 45-year-old mother of five was shown a clip of the Brown family's 2013 commitment celebration, where they inaugurated their family's mission statement and commemorated their dedication to growing together. The video immediately brought Robin to tears, causing her to fully break down. The Brown family has faced hardships for years, but things turned catastrophic once Cody Brown's third wife, Christine Brown, announced her decision to leave the plural marriage in November 2021. Cody's second wife, Janelle Brown, and first wife, Mary Brown, also exited within 14 months, leaving Robin as the Brown family patriarch's only remaining wife. Part of what contributed to the family's eventual demise was Cody's noticeable favoritism toward Robin, which is something his other three wives have called out at different points. During Sunday's episode, Christine, 51, noted that the wives were once all equal in Cody's eyes but everything changed once Robin entered the picture. I knew they had something different, Christine said, calling their pairing a soulmate situation. Janelle, 54, pointed out how adjustments and growing pains are expected when adding a new wife into the family, while Mary, 52, added that they can be oak with another wife in the family and also feel jealousy. For his part, Cody, 54, felt everyone was complaining about his special connection with Robin. Now, given that Cody is declaring he only ever loved Robin, Mary questioned whether he was lying in the past about his feelings for the other women or if he was simply trying to make it fit his narrative to justify where he is now. However, Isabel Brown from Sister Wives shares a heartwarming throwback photo of her half-brother, Garrison Brown, showing her deep affection for him. Isabel Brown shares a heartwarming unseen picture of her late brother Garrison. The photo shows Isabel and Garrison's loving bond. Cody Brown's absence during Yisabel's surgery created a deep emotional divide, which eventually strained their relationship. Cody's polygamous relationship with Christine, Janelle, and Miri lasted for three decades, creating strong bonds among their children. Sister Wives star Yisabel Brown shares unseen pictures of her brother, Robert Garrison Brown. Yisabel is best known as Cody and Christine Brown's fifth child. She has been a major part of the popular show and a crucial member of the Brown family. Lysabel suffered from scoliosis, which impacted her life and prevented her from enjoying a normal childhood. She underwent spine surgery in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, Cody didn't attend Lysabel's surgery. He disappointed her and tarnished his relationship with her forever. Lysabel later admitted that her father's priorities were screwed up. Yisabel loves her family and Garrison's passing has impacted her a lot. Recently, the 20-year-old woman took to her Instagram and remembered her sweet brother. She posted a throwback photo of him from childhood, highlighting her lovely relationship with him. The picture showed a preschooler, Garrison, sitting on a wooden chair. He carried baby Yisabel and looked happy to be her big brother. Yisabel didn't title her post and let the old sweet memory tell the story. She used Lord Huron's song, Ends of the Earth, a sad piece about someone bidding farewell to their loved ones. Sister Wives stars pay tribute to Garrison. Savannah shares Garrison's photos and posts a message about mental health. Like Yee Stabel, many Brown family members have shared heartfelt tributes to Garrison. A few days ago, Hunter Brown shared photos of some of his most special moments with his late brother. Garrison's youngest sister, Savannah Brown, also shared her feelings on March 19. She posted photos of Garrison and opened up about the incident. Savannah wrote, I'm having a hard time understanding it. She seemed heartbroken and discussed mental health. Cody, Janelle, Christine, and Miri have also posted heartwarming tributes to their son. Garrison was Yi Sabel's paternal brother, yet he was incredibly close to her and everyone else in the family. The connection between the Brown family members proves that Cody, Janelle, Christine, Mary, and Robin did create something special with their polygamous marriage. While the relationships didn't work out forever, they lasted three decades, giving the parents enough time to build a big family with 18 children. Cody and his wives ensured that everyone in the family felt they belonged. 
The only time the Browns were at odds was during the COVID-19 pandemic, when the Patriarch became paranoid because of coronavirus. Isabel's issue with Cody also transpired in 2020. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Cody made rules for himself and his loved ones. He chose not to go outside and risk his life and the lives of people around him. Cody made many bad decisions during this time, such as missing Ysabel's surgery and forcing Janelle to kick Garrison out for not adhering to his rules. Hopefully, he has changed now and reflected upon his mistakes. While the Sister Wives star can no longer repair his bond with Garrison, he can still save his relationship with Ysabel. However, Sister Wives star Cody Brown remained quiet in the aftermath of his son's death but the famous husband from the TLC series was captured in a photo just as he was breaking into a sprint. The debate is on with some fans slamming the once husband of four because of where he was. Still, others think he may need to be where he is to give himself some grief therapy. Sister Wives Cody Brown went quiet. Cody Brown and his family navigate life today after a horrendous tragedy, the loss of one of their children. Garrison Brown took his own life three weeks ago, so the wounds are still raw for the family members. Some of the Sister Wives family members took to social media in the days and weeks following. They expressed their feelings from their loss of a much-loved son, brother, uncle, and friend. Janelle Brown, who was Garrison's mom, posted a few messages following her son's death, but today she remains quiet, most likely grieving with her large family around her. Mary Brown and Christine Brown also posted messages, both ex-wives struggled to get back into normal daily living. The same goes for many of the adult sister wives' kids, with a couple trying to make sense of what just happened. But Cody Brown remained out of the public eye. That is, until recently. Cody sprints through the casino. One astute sister wives fan happened to look up and see Cody Brown sprint by. The photo they captured, seen below, only caught the backside of him but the person who took the picture said he moved at a quick pace through a Vegas casino. So Sister Wives fans immediately started an online debate as the comments were at 520 and growing by Thursday morning. Many thought Cody shouldn't be at a casino while his family grieves, but many others suggest everyone grieves in their own way. Since he seems to be there alone, he might have needed to find some distraction from his despair, suggested other commenters. The person who posted the photo said Cody was running through the shops at the casino, but that's as far as it went. Sister Wives Running Through the Shops A while back, one of the Sister Wives' adult daughters said that her father and Robin Brown spent way beyond their means. So some fans thought that Cody was out doing something he seemed to love to do, shopping. But many more Sister Wives fans seemed willing to cut Cody a break from the slamming that usually follows a post about him. They look at Cody as a father who just lost a son. No matter what reason he had for being there, fans were empathetic to his situation today. Many suggested it was his way of getting some grief therapy. No matter what it looked like, it seemed many fans were willing to stop their usual Cody bashing. So the person who posted the photo said it was Cody Brown, but because you can't see his face, some may question if it is him, despite it looking very much like Cody Brown from behind. However, after the recent ceremony for Garrison Brown, many Sister Wives viewers began to wonder about Mary Brown's status with the family. Several people questioned if the Brown kids still consider her their mom. Mary Brown was instrumental in helping with the family. While it is hard to believe that Mary Brown's separation from plural marriage could affect her status as mom, some of the kids have been forward about Mary being abusive. On Reddit, one Sister Wives viewer poses a question about Mary. They say, Mary and the wives slash kids, then discuss how the family views her. With Garrison's passing due Janelle, Christine and Cody acknowledge that Mary was still one of the kids' mom. Admittedly, the status may be muddy after the split. Furthermore, the user says, I know there's tensions between three women but do they consider her part of the family during celebrations slash troubles, etc. However, the Redditor brings up a good point about how a family might act in the face of tragedy. Mary Brown seems to be in disconnection. More so, the initial poster notices the seating arrangement Mary Brown chose. I just was looking at photos and Mary is still front row, just looks disconnected in ways. It's hard to explain what I'm asking. Later, the poster edits to say not only the funeral but overall. 
giving the example of how Christine and Janelle still talk about being a mom to each other's kids. Some of the kids claim Mary Brown was abusive. Additionally, over the years, some of the Brown kids have stated that Mary Brown was abusive during their childhood. Undeniably, there is tension with Michaelty, Maddie, and Peyton Brown. Furthermore, there has been strain between her only biological child, Leon. Other users reminded Mary was the disciplinarian. When compared to the other parents, she may have seemed abusive solely from the aspect of differing personalities and parenting choices. The seating choices draw a picture of what is going on. Notably, in the photo from Garrison Brown's military funeral, Mary Brown is sitting next to Aspen and Mitch. Many believe this was about the division Mary has with some of the children. Michaelty sat in the same row with her arms crossed. Previously, her dislike for Mary was apparent, but without a doubt, this was a hard day for everyone. Perhaps the seating arrangements very well don't matter in a time of grieving, but they still can paint a picture of what might be going on. She was there for family. Although the answer isn't clear how the Brown kids refer to Mary Brown, it is clear she shows up. Undoubtedly, Mary has always loved her family even when it was difficult. Hopefully, for the sake of the family, everyone set their difference aside and tried to support one another through the grief. However, the sister-wives' siblings are continuing to pay tribute to Garrison Brown following his death. Garrison's sister Maddie Brown was the first to break her silence after his death. Our hearts are broken and we are now swallowed with the love now left behind for this beautiful brother, she wrote. Garrison's parents, Janelle and Cody Brown, confirmed the news of his death in March 2024. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, they wrote via Instagram. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Us Weekly confirmed that police arrived at Garrison's house in Flagstaff, Arizona, where he was discovered dead on the scene with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His death was investigated as an apparent suicide. He was 25. The family gathered to celebrate Garrison's life days after his death. Garrison is one of Cody and Janelle's six children. Cody is the father of 18 children total, whom he shares with wife Robin Brown as well as exes Mary Brown and Christine Brown. Maddie Brown. My words seem to fall short, she wrote. Our hearts are broken and we are now swallowed with the love now left behind for this beautiful brother. God be with you till we meet again. I'll see you at the gates of Valhalla, feasting with our ancestors who battled before you. Until then, we must live in a more gray world without the light you brought." Maddie later reflected on what she's learned from losing her brother in an Instagram video. Mental health is so important, she explained in the clip. And I don't think we talk about it enough. I don't think we do enough to bring awareness. It wasn't bullying, it wasn't a lack of love that Garrison had, it was mental health and I am going to continue talking about mental health and self-care until I'm blue in the face because I don't think it's talked about enough in a way that people understand it. Hunter Brown, when tomorrow starts without me, Hunter wrote via Instagram, seemingly referencing a poem by David Romano. I have no eulogy to give or long caption for you to read. All I can say is that I love Garrison and he has always been and will always be a huge part of my life. I will forever work at being better and enjoying every moment, bait or small, with my loved ones. Alongside his post, he shared a series of pics throughout the years. One image was seemingly taken at Garrison's funeral. Now we are free. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet. Garrison wrote, citing a quote from 2000's Gladiator. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina, hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.